Recording. Good morning. Thank you so much for either coming to my class right now or watching the recording. Uh, today, to start off with, I want to, I invite you to just take a few deep breaths. Take a moment to just think about something that you are so grateful for that is in your physical reality or your mental, your whatever reality that it is here and you feel so grateful for. Just take a minute. And whether that is your health or your home or a relationship or all of your relationships or the scriptures or that you have enough food or eh, whatever it might be, I just invite you to take a minute to feel so grateful for that thing right now. Feel that gratitude in your heart. Let it expand out. Feel that gratitude all spreading out through your, your whole head, your arms, your midsection, your legs, your feet, spreading out and spreading out all around you. Feel that gratitude. And allow you yourself to be filled by that gratitude. Now I invite you to take a, a moment to to be gra grateful and feel that same gratitude for something that is not yet in your physical reality. Uh, whether that is a new home or a healing in your body of some sort or better financial circumstances or a new bed or whatever it might be, take a minute and I'd want you to just feel Whatever that is, feel it physically, feel it all through your body. And again, let it spread out. Feel that gratitude spreading through, starting with your heart and expanding out. And that gratitude that even though it's not in your physical reality right at this moment, it's already yours and you've already received it. I want you to feel it physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Now I invite you just to take just a, a small moment to give all of that gratitude to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and your Heavenly Father and your Heavenly Mother. Just give them that gratitude that you have for your countless blessings that you're on the earth right now. Give them the, the gratitude that you're listening to this and that God has something for you and for me and that we can learn together. Thank you. Okay, so I've been, I've been, have you, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom, but I've been listening to another book by Corey Ten Boom called Tramp for the Lord. And in that book, she talks about how there was, I can't, I don't, I just read it last week, but I can't remember if it was a man or a woman. And they would, they would release and cast out this darkness from this person. And then they would, then life would go on and the darkness would come back in and they would be in this dark, dark place. And they kept helping to remove the darkness just for it to come back. And finally, she, she uh, I, I believe it was Corey. She was inspired that there was something that that person had not 
repented for. And so it was allowing the darkness back in. And again, going back to President Nelson's general conference talk this past April, Sunday morning, and I, I'll put the link for that in the notes. He said to get on the covenant path and stay there, to find joy in daily repentance. Uh, the third thing was to learn about God and how he works, seek and expect miracles and end conflict in your life. And so I was, I asked my husband to talk to me last night as I was getting ready for bed. And in our discussion, I realized that the darkness that I've been allowing in has been because I haven't forgiven myself. And he's constantly telling me to love myself and forgive myself. And I'm just, I just, haven't even understood how. And so through the tender mercies of God, he has taught me that it's through repentance. It is through day that, that finding that joy in that shower, that daily repentance and finding those things that we're not even aware of that we have not repented of to, so that we can complete that circle of light of protection for us. And I am so like, okay, Again, go, and again, going back to things that I've talked about lots of times, attachment. We are designed to attach. We come here, we're designed to attach to our parents. Our parents, ideally, the design of God is for our parents to teach us to attach to him, to God. And then as we attach to, as we attach to God and we move the, our strongest attachment from our parents to God first, the, as we grow, then we are prepared as we, for the people that are, that have the opportunity to get married, to move that attachment from our parents to our spouse. And then, so first God, then our spouse, and then our other family, like our parents and our children and other things, obviously. And so as we give thanks and feel gratitude, feel our bodies, then we are raising our vibration to his vibration because he is grateful for us. He is grateful for all things. And we are grateful to him, matching our vibration to his. And so that gratitude opens us up to that light to receive. It opens us up to the light. And then the further repentance helps us to close the light around us as that protection. And in, I was reading the book, um, we've been studying this year, the Old Testament in Joshua 7. It talks about uh, Achan, Achan, I don't remember how to say his name. Anyway, he was, the, so they were commanded not to take any of the spoils of war for their personal use, that they would, they would be, that they, let's see. He disappointed, so the Lord specifically said, do not take the spoils of war for yourself. And so then they all knew that that was the commandment, but he said that he was too tempted. Where is it? He said that, that he was too tempted. So they find, so he didn't come at first, but then they found him. They found out who it was. And in verse, verse 19, Joshua said, my son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him, and tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. And he answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus I have, I have done. When I saw the spoils of spoils, a goodly Babylonish garment, and 200 shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight, then I coveted them, and I took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. And so we are tempted to sin, whether it be, whether it's feeling sorry for ourselves or, or hopelessness or whatever that, or that any darkness or envy or coveting or anger or any of those things, when we do not, when we don't stay in that place of gratitude, you know, he, he saw those things and he coveted it. But if he would have felt grateful for where the Lord had brought them and saved them, 
then he wouldn't have been in that place to feel that coveting and to feel that temptation. And so not only does gratitude bring us closer to God, but also protects us from sin. And in Ephesians, in Ephesians chapter five, So let me flip over. And again, last week I talked about how in Psalm 7, 17, I'll praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the Lord, the name of the Lord most high. And so in Ephesians chapter five, verse, was it 20? Yes, verse 20. Giving thanks always for the things of God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then so giving thanks always. And then in the next chapter, what does he talk about? He talks about arming, our, putting us upon us, the armor of God. And my friend Melinda does this beautiful, she, I don't know how often she's doing it right now. She was doing it once a month. Uh, but this beautiful, beautiful meditation where she takes you through this, these scriptures and through the energy centers. So there, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow of color of protection as she takes you through these scriptures and the and start, you know, starting verse 13, the whole armor of taking upon you, the whole armor of God that you may be with able, may be able to withstand the evil of the day. And having done all to stand, standing therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking on taking the shield of faith, wherewith you're able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Isn't that amazing that when we put ourselves in on the armor of God, we are protected. I haven't been, so what I, he helped me realize is I had to forgive myself and repent of not forgiving myself. And I, I feel the light just from that repentance. And, and then it says, take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the sword of the spirit. So again, when his words abide in us, we have that sword praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So if you feel that strength and that power within you and that gratitude, and then you're able to share that strength with the people around you, the saints, for and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, and I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. I, I appreciate you being here with me because I feel like God has given me that gift. That, that this is my gift. That He has given me this wonderful blessing and gift to be able to share, and I'm so thankful for that gift because it does. It fills my soul. And then let's see, let me make sure I'm on track. So as we protect ourselves through this gospel, this, the armor of God and through this gospel, then we are more fit for his kingdom. We are more fit to accomplish what he has sent us here to do. We can fill our own shoes. I was listening to a podcast by Jared Halverson and, uh, did I give myself thumbs up? <laughs> um, I gave, anyway, I was watching this podcast by Jared Halverson and he talked about a student one time, talked about, he's like, how sometimes the, the students in his class feel like they have such big shoes to fill with their parents, their grandparents, their ancestors. And one student said, what about our own shoes? What about uh, like who are, like as, these noble and great spirits that we were before we came here and you were you were noble and great and as that spirit sometimes i feel that i'm like i feel i feel like how can i possibly be who i'm supposed to be when i feel so low and it's because i haven't protected myself and with god all things are possible so regardless of who you were before it is important for you to become who's God, who God has sent you here to be. And God not only will teach you and help you understand who you were, but who you are and who you are to become. And I wanted to go over to, 
let's see. This is in Doctrine and Covenants section 68. And this is a section that jo given to Joseph Smith when, when they wanted to know concern about the elders. Uh, they wanted to know specifically for these two men, but it is actually for the whole church. And he says, let's see. And so he's asking that he's asking us and you, you, me, them, this is an example unto them that they may speak as they are moved upon by the Holy Ghost. Then whatsoever they shall speak when moved upon by the Holy Ghost shall be scripture, shall be the will of the Lord and the mind of the Lord and shall be the word of the Lord, shall be the voice of the Lord and the power of God unto salvation. So when we are filled with Christ's words and his words abide in us and we go and we worthily we repent and we worthily partake of that sacrament and we physically take his flesh and his blood upon us and so that his light shines through us then when we are speaking to people he can speak through us and it is scripture for ourselves and for the people that he is directing us to and later in the chapter in verse so that was verse four and uh, or three and four and then in verse 28 it says they shall teach teach their children to pray and walk uprightly before the Lord. And so whether you have your own children or there are children of other people around you that you have access to be a mentor and a help to them, as we work together to teach and lift up our children, then we are only, we are raising them up into the Lord. And we, we are helping them to accomplish their own personal commandments and work of the lord and so let me go back where i had one more scripture oh let me go back okay so one another thing that i have found that i has been brought re brought back to my attention this week is i haven't been taking supplements for a few weeks and just because of some stuff that had been going on uh and i can feel the difference in my body. And so last night I was just, as I was journaling, I was made aware that the supplements are ordained of God. When we are, when we, when we seek to understand his will and what's in, aligned with our bodies, physical bodies, then he gives us these things, whether it's food or supplements or exercise or, or, grounding on the earth going outside and standing on the earth and filling the that vibration and connecting with that vibration of the earth regardless of what it is when we are aligned with god and we take those things that he has given us to help and assist us in our place then we are strengthened because yesterday some days i feel i don't even feel the strength i know this sounds ridiculous but i feel like it's such it's like pulling and it's such a chore to even get myself to do things that I love like studying the scriptures and yesterday I did it and I felt so renewed and then I realized because it was because for the pat the 24 hours before that I had been I started taking my vitamins again and it made that much of a difference for me to be able to follow through with my personal commandments and so I know that as we repent and as we as we live in gratitude that we are blessed and we can bless the lives of so many people around us. And then we can be aligned and in tune with our savior, Jesus Christ, and know what is ours, whether regardless of what it is, we know what is ours to bring into our, into our minds, our hearts, our homes, whatever it is. And so I love you. And I thank you. I'm so grateful that I can teach you or teach myself or that the spirit really it's, it's not me that the spirit can teach us together as we are here and so you have an awesome week and i hope that something in here helps you please if it does please comment let me know what you appreciate or what helps you thank you so much